Hey guys, oh, my face is so broken out. This is why I got my hood on and covering it all up. Oh, I'm just kidding. I just have my hood up because it's so late and I'm tired. But um, we are busy tomorrow, so um, I just want to show you guys the roast that I'm making that I'm going to make it tonight. I'm going to put everything in here and in the morning before we leave I can just put it on low on the crock pot and we will have supper ready when we get home. So um, I have an instant pot and I've had it for like two years now and I am so afraid to use it that I have not used it yet. So um, that's another option but I'm just going to use my good old slow cooker. So. Um, I hope you like this recipe. It's kind of like a Mississippi pot roast, but um, I kind of bring my own spin to it. So, um, well, just enjoy. And I hope that you guys make this because we make this like once a week. So, make it. How many times can I say so in a video? You guys should definitely keep track. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands because as you can see, I'm sure you're wondering, I keep playing with my hair because it's in my way. Uh, I got my hair cut so you can tell that it's just, it's all over the place. I know that I'm trying to use like this dish soap that has good ingredients in it and my thieves from Young Living. Um, and then I go ahead and I use Bath and Body Works or like the Dawn dish soap that I absolutely love. Oh, I know that it's a kind of, I'm a hypocrite on that, but I get gifted these and I don't waste stuff, so I just want to use it. And that Dawn dish soap, it's fantastic. I can show you quick. Let's see. I have underneath my sink. I have a curtain rod so I can just hang all of the stuff that has a nozzle on it so it's all just hanging up. So that's a really good tip for you. But I absolutely love this brand new Dawn spray. So it's a powder wash. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It doesn't smell that great. I don't know. It's just like Dawn dish soap but um, it's fresh scent. I just... You get yourself to the store or if you coupon at Dollar General and you have Dollar General by you. Um, there's been coupons on this so I got like $2.50 off of this so I'm like hey why not try it. And if you can't tell I'll show you guys. But um, I picked up this wreath for $5 that I put in the window with my new curtains and I got it from Dollar General as well. So just back and we'll use it. And honestly, these Bath and Body Works it smells so good. You don't get that such good smelling stuff with other natural products. This is toasted vanilla um, chai. So, and yeah, I got dishes to do, but we'll get to them another day. Alright, I'm going to show you a couple things that I um, got shopping today. I went to Target and I went to Dollar General and I went to Aldi's. So I'm going to show you a couple things that I got. Alright, so I got this Kleenex box from Aldi's and it just, it's so bright and I'm like, it just calls spring. And then I got this little floral um, arrangement and that was only $3.00. So I really like that. So I just kind of added a little touch to the counter space. And then we got this um, wreath. So it, I don't know, I like it. I see some Pinterest ideas like this. I'm just keeping it simple. Looks a little weird because I got that one up there, but it is what it is. How stinking cute are these? 
Perhaps was being nice and carrying in this, and it chipped. So you can tell that I just have it sitting on there. But um, it's black, so it kind of goes with the microwave. But I just kind of got that sitting on there. And those are $3 each at Target. Okay, so I need a roast. So in this one right here, um, it is a beef mock tender roast. So I'm just going to use this. This one's frozen, which is fine because I'm just going to be putting it in the fridge overnight. So there's nothing really to worry about on that. This is 1.7 pounds. I don't really get a specific weight. I just get whatever they have available. So then I do two packs of um, baby carrots. Uh, potatoes you can put in there, like a normal roast. But um, I just try to keep low carbs. So we'll do that. And then I also put a whole thing of the beef broth in there. So um, this helps with like the carrots cooking better. And the Mississippi pot roast is just like the pot roast, the banana peppers, um, a couple seasoning packets, and butter, and that's it. Whereas this, I'm adding the beef broth, I'm adding carrots, and some other seasonings. So um, I'm pretty sure I need a new. That are banana peppers and, oh man, I don't know how you say this. I don't even want to say it because I don't want to really embarrass myself, which is embarrassing that I can't say it, but these, okay? I just call them banana peppers, but they're the whole peppers. So what I do is I, I can get about four different roasts out of these. Um, three or four different batches of roast out of this whole container. Um, so I'm gonna take my curl cut. Sorry, you can see me touch my hair. I know a lot of people get concerned about that, but I guess it's our food and it doesn't really hurt or anything. And I took a shower, so. But um, what I use because I absolutely hate um, having to scrub my crock pot because it's just a pain i hate doing dishes now that i've been doing some youtube videos i actually enjoy it i enjoy giving you guys encouragement but um i use these slow cooker liners and i got these from festival but you can find them anywhere um they come in a box as well so that's like the name brand ones but this is just like um, the essential everyday brand. So that's why they're in these and they come in four. They're my absolute favorite and they're super easy just to pull out and use. So I'll show you. This is my first video talking to you guys and um, not really doing a voiceover. So um, I'm actually really enjoying it. And I hope you are too. So it's kind of like a live video kind of, but I'm recording it, so it's a little loud. As you can see, I'm just putting it around it, okay, and I'm going to show you just like this, okay, and I don't have it in the actual crock pot right now, or whatever it cooks in, because um, I'm putting this in the fridge for overnight. So. What I'm gonna do is take my roast. I'm just gonna open it up for you guys. And it is frozen, so we're gonna see if it actually comes off of here. Sometimes I do throw it in the microwave for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure that you're necessarily supposed to. You're probably supposed to let this thaw out. Some of you might be cringing right now at me, but all right, we're getting it all. It's coming undone, besides this one part. All right, so I really could have put it in the microwave and thawed it, which I should have, but I decided to make a mess instead. <laughs> make it a little harder on myself. Throw that over there. And then what I do is I'll take the beef broth. This is beef broth is 
32 ounces. I think it was like $1.69 at Aldi's. So it's not too bad. Sometimes you can find them for a dollar even. So I put that in. It's going to stay cold in the fridge. It's not going to hurt any. It's just kind of going to marinate. So before I even put in anything else, um, I'm going to put in the seasoning packets. I do one packet of the ranch and one packet of the odd juice sauce um, packet. I never know how to say that word. Like I go to Subway and I'm like, I want the roast beef with odd juice sauce. And they're like, that's how they say it. So that's how I say it, which just sounds weird. Okay, I'm gonna grab that really quick. Okay, you can get whatever brand you want, but I just take the entire packet. You can also make your own ranch um, mix. I really want to try to do that. I'm gonna to try to make my own taco seasoning too. I just haven't yet, cause I, it's just a lot healthier for you. So yeah, I'm gonna take both of these and I'm gonna just powder it on my roast. So if you guys have made this before, put it in the comments that you made it. I don't know why I just opened this so weird. So, oh, oh goodness gracious. I'm having a cat attack. You guys can tell I have some monsters and they're going to get off my counter because they know they're not allowed on my counter. Okay, hey, thank you very much for leaving. You guys probably think I'm crazy with having my cats, but I love them to death and I wouldn't change anything about it. So, put them here. I'm just making a mess. As you guys can see, I'm kind of going pretty fast of trying just to get this done so I can go lay down and watch Grey's Anatomy. So, I gotta do that. And then what I do, it doesn't really matter which way um, that I'm doing this. I'm going to take the carrots. Actually, I'm going to show you guys really quick of what it looks like when I'm just adding this stuff, okay? Super simple, and it looks good already. So we've got the roast in there and the two packets and the beef broth. All right, I'm gonna add the carrots in here now. So what I do is I put them on the edges and I'll put it on top of the roast. So I just sprinkle it on the edges and it is gonna be higher than the um, beef broth. So I add two because we really do like carrots and I like to serve this meal with um, something on the side. So some kind of veggie. Sometimes it's trial and error with us with how long um, I leave it in the crock pot. If I have it on low or high, um, it just, it all depends. Sometimes it does get on the drier side. So we just like it with A1 sauce as well, which it's delicious. So if you haven't tried your roast with some A1 steak sauce, that's good too. So like I said, I kind of keep it on the sides some, and now this one, I just kind of plopped it in there because I just, I don't know, wasn't thinking. It doesn't bother anything though, okay? So next, what I'm going to do is I put about six of these peppers in there. So I just drizzle, it's not really drizzle, no, um, I drizzle them. <laughs> We're just going to go with that word. So I put them on the top. Like I said, I do about six of them. When it gets in here, I usually use a fork. But when it's like right on top, I just do that. So. There's already six in there, but I'm going to grab this big one and put that on there. And then what I do is I also 
you guys can see, I just put a little bit of the juice. Not a lot, but just some. So next time I go and it'll be right up top for me to grab. So, sometimes in this recipe, I forget things. Like, sometimes I actually add onions in here. Um, Brad doesn't necessarily like onions, but what I'm gonna do is put some minced onions in here. Um, the onions are my favorite part, and then he just kind of puts them to the side. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now, and we're gonna add some minced onion. And that's basically all that you do. Oh, I told you guys I forgot some stuff. I'm gonna add some butter. So let's do that too. Okay, so I just grabbed a stick of butter. It is salted butter. Um, the last few times I've been forgetting butter. It's just whatever your heart desires. So I added the butter and I'm going to put some onion. This comes out so slow that I just, I can't. We're just gonna do this. And this is just for some flavor. So every time that I do make roast, I kind of just wing it. So you're always gonna have different ideas of how you can make it. Um, I just want a nice supper to come home to that's done and I'm gonna put it on low until like five o'clock at night and we'll leave at eight. So um, you do the math. <laughs> so, all right, well, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you make this recipe because it's a good one and I will be showing you guys the end results as well. So thank you for watching and make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel because I can't wait to grow as a YouTube family. And thank you for supporting me and my cats because they're in all the videos too. So thank you.